and a lexicographical holes in one are par for the course. And helping us tee off this evening, our Sultans of Swing, Lily Fenner and David Ashall. Thank you. Thank you. And hoping to avoid the sand trap, our contestants. First up, our carryover champion, building design student, Kerry McManus. Welcome back, Kerry. Hello, Richard. Now, when you're not thinking about designing buildings, you're brewing beer. Tell me a little about your brewing activities. Um, yeah, well, we like to brew beer. It's my friend and I. We brew all sorts of types, but we have a particular favourite type, which is a dark ale. And my friend's house that we brew it at is on Batman Street in Fitzroy. And so we decided to call our dark ale the Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very nice tie-in. Actually, my partner, Alison, particularly likes a dark beer, so uh, I'll have to get you to, you know, compare notes sometime. Sure thing. <laughs> Welcome back. And tonight's challenger is a warehouse manager for a plumbing company. Mark Potter. Hello, Mark. Hi, Richard. Now, you also have a fascination with gardening and, and a particular designer of gardens. Tell me about her. Yes, Richard, as I've got older, I've got more interested in gardening and uh, especially the gardens of uh, Edna Walling. She's a very famous, and very, very well-known um, landscape gardener, has done a lot of work all around Australia and, and has a, an enclave in, in um, rural bark in Victoria that's... That, that's it's very well known. So as well. she designs a particular type of garden. What would characterise her look? Lots of lots of English types of trees, and she, the way she worked out where she was going to plant them, she'd throw a potato, and where the potato landed, that's where that's where she she'd grow uh, grow trees. Well, that's an interesting concept of design there. Actually, um, going back to you, Kerry. I mean, if you imagine designing a building, I think, where should we have this building? I don't know what. Toss a potato and that's where the foundations will be. I think mean, we've, we've brought up a new design concept here. Welcome to both of them, please. Kerry McManus and Mark Potter. The word on the street, the letters game is up first. Kerry, you're up first. Can I please get a consonant? Sure. Let's start with H. And another consonant? T. And a third consonant? And a vowel, please. U. And a second vowel. E. Uh, another consonant, please. M. And a vowel. O. And a consonant. L. And a consonant, please. And to finish, M. Thanks, Lily. First slot for the night. and solid starts. Uh, menthols uh, was the eight that I found, which is often that flavouring of cough lozenges. <laughs> Very nice. Solid start, Kerry and Mark, six each. Next others, your turn, Mark. Could I please have a consonant? Sure. Let's start with R. And another. N. And again. T. And one more. B. And another one, please. D. And a vowel. E. And another one. A. And another one, please. I. And a consonant. And to finish, T. Time starts now.
Would you go, Mark? I've got a seven. Seven for you, Kerry. Just a six for me. Let's start there, please. Uh, baited. Baited. And yours, Mark? Trained. That sounds good, David. Excellent. Good play, Mark. Good seven. And what did you find, David? I rolled a potato and I found trident also for seven. <laughs> nice find. And good stuff for Mark. Seven points. And that brings us to our first numbers for tonight. Our contestants have got to multiply, add, divide or subtract the selected numbers to achieve the target. Now, Kerry, you uh, probably brought up the wild maths moment of last night by choosing those six smalls. Um, actually, we usually call it a rat pack, but if it was six potatoes, it could be six spuds. <laughs> you want to go there? I, uh, yes, I will go for six spuds, please. Oh, <laughs> very brave of you, Kerry. Six spuds it is. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. I number it. Four, nine, ten, seven, three, ten. And the target to reach is 743. We're chasing them. I got one off, oh no, four off, sorry, with 7.39. 7.39, four away. Mark, what about you? I couldn't get my brain into gear, I'm sorry. No luck with the potatoes at all. Okay. So, Kerry, tell us what you did. So I did uh, 7 times 10 times 10. 7 times 10 times 10. Equals 700. 700. Uh, plus 9 times 4. Plus 9 by 4. Equals 736. 736. Uh, plus 3 is 739. Plus three is 739. So, nice work. You are only four away. So that gives you a bit of a challenge, Lily. We've yeah. got these uh, six small numbers and 743 to uh, achieve. Yep, and here's how you do it. Uh, seven by ten, 70. Plus the four, 74. By the ten, 740. Add the three, 743. Very nice and methodical. And straight through to the target. So well done, Lily, but well done, Kerry, as well. Seven points to him. That means that Kerry and Mark are level pegging on 13 each as we head for our first break of the night. Your first word mix is dare thee. The clue this time, a possible fate for leftovers. See you soon.